Morning folks, I'll go back to some basics for, for this one. Um, uh, a, bit, a bit of landscape, but a simple landscape. So I've got, uh, this is on the Saunders Waterford, £90 cold press, lovely, lovely paper. I'll give you a coat, it's on the back of one of your desks, uh, Saturday, I think. Some of them are flattered to deceive, they, they, they look good on the screen, but they when I look at them, I'm, I, I'm not sentimental about it, about my pictures. And if they're really good, then I, I won't paint over them. But if I think they're not really, they're good for demo, but they're not good for anything else, I just paint over them. Safe paper. Let's just get this on an angle so that I paint to the edge and not the uh, to the side because if I put it in a, in a frame or a mount anyway, it uh, this bit always seems to be unpainted. Uh, you can see how easily this this paper, even though it's been used before, it. Uh, goes almost dead flat. It's lovely, it's lovely paper flat. And because it's a light weight, it will stretch quite easily. So now yeah, just to just clip the ends. Right, okay. Uh, that's my hake I'm using for the moment. There'll just be uh, trees on a on the heathland. I might put a pond in. So bit of uh, raw sienna. Like that. Just gives a, a uniform surface to work on, which dries much lighter than when you put it on. Right, let's just get a little bit of light ready now, I think. Just a, a bit, just a bit of a blush. This is all. All this top bit will be cloud and sun. So there we go. Nice bit of ultramarine, and there's a bit of a ragged bit on my brush there. Oh, let's. Uh, Oh, we can put a little bit of cloud on there, just, just add some red to that blue. And then we've got a nice cloud, and so we can just put that in there. And then we do our, our landscape under that. Right, okay, we can set watch that dry, or we can uh, get the hair dry on it. If I put the hair dry on it, it means I've got to edit it, but I will have to edit this anyway. It needs drying so we can crack on. So, uh, oh, just uh, pause. Okay, so we've given that a good hair dry. I'll move my hair dry from my little table there. Uh, so you see how beautiful and diffuse the sky is, the softness of it. You can you can paint over that if you if you want. You can add some clouds, but I don't. I, I like the, the the beauty of that paper. It is the paper more than more than what I do. It just it does that, and, and and it does hold the paper. Although it's thin, ninety pound. That's the weight of five hundred sheets, ninety pounds. Um, uh, it holds a lot of water for for a thin piece of paper it's quite it's quite beautiful the way that just all merges into e each other now we're going to ruin it with uh, with a hake uh, okay so let's put a bit, let's put a bit of a horizon in or distant hills hills just 
just a bit of blue on the horizon and we'll just do a little bit of a Well, we'll just undulate a little bit. So I'm going to put some uh, landscape under that. This is just the distance. Okay. Now we want a bit of, bit of blurry on that. So, uh, well, no, I'm not happy with, with that bit there. Let's, let's get that more gentle. Right, okay, now we want a bit of bit of breeze and a green, nice bit of gambos. Now get that all soft softening. might put some other stuff on that. Well, I will, I don't want to have to. Alright, let's have a bit of, bit of raw, sienna, raw sienna. A touch of burnt sienna. Um, I'll just put that in there. Bit of paint spray now, bit of yellow. Uh, we could uh, put a pond in there just to add a bit of uh, interest to the foreground. That's why I put the clips there. So that makes the three colours of uh, burnt sienna, uh, yellow, a scambos, and uh, Payne's grey. And that's where we're going to put the shadow for the bush or the edge of the pond. Well, just just add some stuff. Just just making this up as I'm going along, quite happily. I've got to put some trees coming out of this. That's supposed to be a dark green. I don't use uh, ready mixed greens on the watercolours. I prefer to mix them from my basic palette. Alright, look, no, just, just rough ground. And we can put a little bit of faint, faint green on here. Right, 
Now on the tree line there, we can put a little bit of blue grey. Hope you enjoyed your weekends folks. So a bit of, bit of blue grey, that gives a nice cool colour on here. change the hook. Right, that's just too, uh, too insistent there. Breaking the horizon a little bit there. Yeah. I'll put some darker bit on in there. Just in there, just to. So we've got all of that now. We can think about a tr some trees coming out of here. So I'll give that a quick dry. So bear with me. Now you would never know there was a break there if I hadn't told you. I shouldn't have told you anything because you wouldn't know, would you? I'm just getting used to this, this the editor, but I still have, I've still got a black screen on my videos. You can see them, but I can't. I don't know how to get out of that one. It doesn't seem to want to go away on its own. Uh, right, like, let's have some uh, some nice trees. So we put right. So we'll put, put some some over here. Sort of lonely trees, but you don't want too much water on your brush for this. You could, I, I, I've just put too much on. I want the, it's a dry brush you want. I'm showing some air holes for for the birds to fly through. It's quite. It's it's when it's wet. It's quite quite a rough paper. It, it's really beautiful. Right, okay, so some of them. Let's get that more blue. Uh, we'll just come back here. It's a bit feathery at the edge of this uh, little hake. It's a Ron Manson hake. Well, all my hakes are wrong man. So except for one, which is this Jackson's own hake, which came as a present from uh, Glenn Rappold from uh, Hawaii. He, but they didn't come from, from Hawaii, they came from Jackson's Art in London. I must go over there one day. Oh, I know what I'm going to show you. You might not have seen it uh, before, if I can find it in my bit of chaos here. Uh, 
shouldn't say these things and then think, find out. Can't seek for that. Fine. Uh, oh, here it is. Right. Uh, this might interest some of you. I've, I've never really used it. I bought it for my late friend, Fred Gillespie, who invented it. It's a per perspective finder. So if you're out and you're, well, you want to line up your roofs or roof lines, you've got this metal rule and you can look and just hold it up. Um, they're not, they're, it wasn't cheap. I gave Fred about £12 for one some years ago, though. And then someone's got to make them. And I think Ken Bromley still sells them. Uh, but Fred, sadly, was a wonderful watercolour painter, died a month or so ago and we went to his funeral. Very sad. But he was 80, 88. He's had a really good, productive life. And he's a lovely guy. And just, uh, you can go on and Google his... Uh, his gallery, and you see just how good he is. He's one of the best in Britain. Absolutely. For what he does, I mean, for landscapes, it's not it's not an abstract, which you can't really compare abstract to uh, to, re to to reality. It's, there's two totally different ways of painting. I love both of them. And I'm drinking my cup of tea. So. Right, we'll... we'll uh, that's, it's gone a little bit light, uh, um, a bit darker, I should say. I might put a bit, but it doesn't matter. It's a demo, isn't it? So let's get one over the other side, or some over the other side. Bit of, bit of water, just a touch of water. A bit of blue. It's the idea of putting blue, blue in with a grey. It, it's, uh, it's very cool, cold colour, and it, it stretches back. But I don't want to cover up too much of that background. I went through a bit of trouble to put it in. Okay, that'll do for that. Uh, now we're going to put in some green, dark green on that pond. I thought I'd, before I do that though, uh, I want to uh, just put a bit of blue in this pond here. So touch with some dark green, but be careful that they don't touch that water. So this is this will just reflect on that water when it dries, if I remember. Right. Just a bit of dark in, uh, in here. I, I do like the gamboge. It's a lovely yellow and this uh, the artist quality is far superior to, to this I used to use the um, the the the, the, uh, the artist quality one it was always uh, winter and Newton and it was just beautiful beautiful color it mixed very well Just put in some rough gorse type plants, you know. Don't want too much in the middle here. I'm trying to keep it to the outside edge. Outside edge is a name of a cricket play and film. Uh, right. Uh, uh, I don't, I'm just waiting for that to dry, I don't really want to do any more than that because it is simple 
but I'll deceptively so. Let's just put the rough stuff in. A bit of warm sienna. Right, I'll just get that a bit of dark, a bit of blue, but not too dark. Uh, we'll just just touch that there. So it shows a little bit of shadow, or reflections, shall I say, not shadow. Now I hope it's a nice day tomorrow. It's a bike ride day along the the giant River Wandle, which is about 16 miles long from from its source to the River Thames. Uh, it, we love it because it's we, we're in sort of pleasant suburbia, and. Um, The, 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 the river goes through several parts. We, we're not, we don't have great vistas in London. Too much water on the brush. You have to be careful of that with, with working with hakes. It's all sort of silhouette. All right, okay, I think I'm gonna let that go. I'll put a couple of birds in, or four. Uh, just to, what, what that does, it links the the sky to the land. Well, that's what I think anyway. So here we go. Let's. Uh... I'm listening to the radio, this is the news, and so we all know what's going on, don't we? Okay, I'll put that in the mount. That's a tragedy. Put the big mounts on. This is this one's just a bit too big, really, for for the for the painting. But it was cut for a a, a, a ten by twelve painting. Oh, well, there we are. Let's come out of that. There we are. We've got a nice nice landscape. Uh, no detail other than the birds. It's all just suggestion. This this should have gone like that but probably the paper was still just a little bit damp and it just sort of spread the paint, paper, paint in the, in the wetness. Well, not wetness, it wasn't where it was dry, but, but there was a bit of it that wasn't dry along there. Uh, not going to use any gouache, but it just gives the impression that they're further, further back. Well, we can, make, we can make them further back, look further back anyway, um, by bringing that one down a little bit further. So let's do that. Touch of, touch of green in there. Yeah, that's too much, too much water again. You've got to be very careful with this, with the water. Right here. So I'll, I'll try it, but take your headphones off now, folks. I'm going. I don't want to edit that one in as well. Uh, so ready, go. Right, I think this this should work. 
what what paints sort of paints greyish for the trunking. bury those uh, trunks so they've they've come a bit closer now but it's too the toes are too too close together here it won't scrape at this stage it was scraped when it was very wet uh, just, uh, all right, uh, okay okay well just a few flicks and flourishes right okay well that's it folks hope you like it and I'll see you well let's push that up a bit I'll see you later or I'll see you tomorrow maybe just one for a, one for a Monday uh, quite pleased with that. It's it's what it is. I've tried to show aerial perspective, meaning that the bluer the the colour, the further it goes back in the landscape. So we've just got the, the hills, distant hills there showing over this bit here. Um, it should have gone like that, as I mentioned before. But anyway, uh, it's a demo. I could. I'm not going to use gouache. I don't, don't really like gouache, but I could. Put in a bit of uh, bit of this. No, it just just gives just shows. Well, we love the trees. Anyway. Uh, thanks for looking in. I'll get this one uploaded now. Bye bye.